a.m. in the morning sun comes up around 8 just loading the truck we'll go get a coffee and then uh, we're gonna try to be out there for first light so stay tuned let's catch some fish today alrighty and we're here and we're back ladies and gentlemen we're going for a drop just release another fish just release another fish we're going back down literally just smack the bottom hard we're gonna just lift up a foot or two and just wait. Here's another one coming. Here he comes. I'm on again. <laughs> oh my goodness. What in the world is happening right now? It's like perch fishing for freaking walleye, literally. Not big, but damn, the school is here. Not big, but they are just chewing. Little guys, but... Wow, is it fun to see on the pan optics them come in and just smash it. Really see their behaviors. Yesterday, the behaviors of them, they were just not aggressive like this. And then all of a sudden, that little adjustment, putting that bigger size jigging wrap, make these fish go crazy. And all we're doing is basically tipping these jigging wraps with a minnow head. Just a little bit of scent. And it's driving these walleye nuts. So basically what we're using. Tip of the jig head, or middle head. And we're dropping down. See if we can get another one to come by. Get these minnows here. Drop it down. Is that a fish? Or is that a man? Absolutely. Oh, here we go. Again. Oh, he hit it. Missed him. He's coming back. Pull it away. Got him again. Wow. That is insane. I'm on old cookie cutters, though, damn it. These fish are like eight inches long. Like, what is going on? I think I found the juice. I got the juice. It's weird. If I leave it there, they don't come. I got to reel it up, drop it. Look, I already got one back on the screen right now. I got one back on the screen. Here he comes. Let's see if he eats it. Clockwork. Got him. Absolutely clockwork. If I leave it there, they don't come. I reel it up to the surface, and then I drop it down. And then I let it sit in the sand. Two cranks. Two cranks, and boom. This guy's, this guy's close to 18. I go right to the top end, so I almost I take it out of the water. And then I drop it. And I let it smack the bottom. And I just reel, I lift up literally an inch or whatever, two feet, two, three feet. And I leave it there. I don't jig it. I don't even jig it. And check it out. That's what you get right there. Come on, spike up. That is a beauty. Lake Nipissing Walleye. Wow. Absolute clockwork with these fish. This is crazy. Literally, the bells aren't ringing. 
but I saw it. I saw it eat it. I saw the fish. The bells don't work with walleye. They give you a little bit of a hint, but I'll tell you one thing, they don't work. Cause I just saw it and look, he's on it. He's on, he's on. Got him. <laughs> just dude, they grab it and they sit there. They don't even, they don't even like move. I couldn't even tell he was on. If I didn't see it, he probably would have been there sitting within his mouth the whole time. Yep. Another little shaker, but geez, man, this lake's just littered with these fish. It's just littered with these little walleyes. Absolutely insanity. Littered, like, there's no other way to put it. I don't even have a minnow. My minnow is literally a piece of chum. It's just, I think I caught four fish on this one minnow. I'm just hooking it in the part that hasn't been bit yet. Really? Dude, it's got teeth marks ripped apart. It's just a piece of meat now. <laughs> oh, good one. oh, those are big head cheeks. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Not an eater. No. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you. Oh my god. Thanks, Joey. Oh my. Joey T helps me land the fish. This is old school rigs. Old school rigs. I don't know what <laughs> in the world this guy's using. But they love it. He's absolutely putting a smack down on these fish. <laughs> they love it. He's got. A squish weight to a, fl a fly fishing indicator <laughs> to a hook. Hey, whatever works, works. So I ain't know. judging. Hey, hey, do you see what this guy's using? Oh, I'm on two boys. <laughs> it's just absolutely insane right now. Let me put this guy right here. Okay, he is on. Got him. Oh, this guy feels like got some weight to him. Wow. Smaller guy. But wow, this is just absolutely fantastic fishery. You know, you want to come out here and you want to have fun. This is the place to do it. Just fantastic. Like these are just beautiful, beautiful walleye. Like, look at them. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. I think that's literally number 30 for me. <laughs> Absolutely insane fishery. Um, just a little thing that we're doing. My dad's setting up a tip up. He's fishing the jigging wrap also. I've just been fishing jigging wrap all day. Um, I got a jig head with a dead minnow hooked down right through the back and I'm just laying it on bottom and uh, seems to get those slower moving fish So that's about it. I, I literally just had like four or five on the screen I'm Surprised my bells haven't gone off What? I just put it down. Here we go. Got one coming up hard On Wow that's a big one again. That might be another keeper. That might be another keeper. We're on a mega school. My dad's hooked up. I'm hooked up. Oh yeah. Solid fish. Not a keeper, not 18. Just, I'd say just shy. Just shy of 18. But we're on a mega school right now. No, he won't cut it. He will not cut it, but we got fish down there. A lot of fish. We're gonna get a release on this. Let's get back down there. Buddy, I'm on a mega school right now. Mega. Like good school fish. Another one's down there. Wow. Here we go. He's coming back up again. On again. <laughs> oh my gosh. This place is insanity. Ansel, you gotta get down there, bro. He's small, but 
This is just absolute, just a freaking sleigh fest right now. And they're just all over. Not a big one, just another small one. But wow, what a fishery. What a fishery. 2021 is off on the right footing. Run, Albo! Run, run, run! <laughs> Set the fun, the good one. Fucked up. Revenge. Let's see. It's still pulling. You got decent head shakes on it. Yeah, yeah, you got some good head shakes there. I'm not sticking my hand in for a 12 inch, eh? Just letting you know right now. Oh yeah. He's also got an ultralight, right? Oh yeah, decent fish. Not sure almost here. I don't know if he's keeper, but maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe. Oh, oh. oh yeah, he is. Get your hand in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Woo! Lake Nipissing walleye, baby. Oh yeah, buddy. Look at that. He got attacked. He eh? got attacked, but that's a pike, man. You can leave this oh, on. I'll tell you, he's more than eight feet. I'll tell you that. Put it on it. Put it on the. Oh, I got about three inches. Oh, I can tell already. Look, oh, right there. Oh, more. Oh, almost 19. Pinch the tail. Oh yeah, nine. Almost 19 inch. Yeah. And he's at the nose. Yeah. Oh. Put him back a little bit. Yeah, right there. 19. 19. Nice walleye, man. Hold him up. First keeper for the old man. <laughs> Guys, finding him with a cigar in his mouth. 19, baby. That's it. First eater for him. Amongst all the ones we've caught. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. The attack. Look at that. I know. Man. What? Wow. Wow. And that's that looks fresh, eh? Yeah. Yeah. He had him right in his mouth. Maybe that was the big fish you lost. Maybe that was the one and the pike ate it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Nice. Beauty. Ansel, you're next, buddy. You're next. We're getting them. Woo! That's a good one. That's two keepers so far on day two. Day two. It's two nice ones on the board. We'll take it all day. So, I think this thing is just a freaking fish factory. It's, what is it, 11 o'clock in the morning. And we've caught, I think I've caught like over 25 fish. My dad's slamming them. Ansel just moved closer to us, so hopefully he catches some more fish now. It's crazy. Jig and wrap, tits with a minnow, and it's just absolutely incredible. I'm not a huge walleye guy. I don't really go for walleye. And I can honestly say it's pretty fun. Well, it's 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 like perch fishing, but a little more exciting. Um, you get a little bit bigger fish, right? So we're using 32 to 36 inch medium light rods. Uh, we're using ultra lights on the tip ups and just so they can take it longer and basically uh, eat, that, eat that minnow much more. So I'm just looking at the screen right now, making sure I have no fish coming up because when they come up, they're just eating it. And uh, I'm just jigging, you know, 10 feet away from the hole. Oh, I'm out on the tip up! As I'm talking, I'm out on the tip up! Yeah, I got one on the tip up. Oh, yeah, gotta take the belt. But I don't even hear the bells, man. Use the copper one. Oh, yeah. Got him. Oh, you know! I was literally just talking on the camera. And I saw the rod just going. I thought he had it though. It's all right. It's all right, that's all right. Oh, he's back, he's back. I think he has it too. He's got it, got him. Oh, he dropped it again. 
What's going on over here? I just hope my other rod doesn't get pulled in if they're around again. I'm gonna hold it, see if he eats it. Oh, he's back. I got him again. again. Got him. Oh. Third time's a charm, baby. Oh Third God. time's a charm, baby. Oh, it's a good fish. It's a good fish. No, nah, I don't know. It's an ultralight. <laughs> oh, he's oh, he's fighting. I mean, I got only four pound line on this, but oh, big head shakes, decent head shakes. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh, you didn't want to put that one down. Oh yeah. And yeah, I know. I put a dead minnow. I just hooked the dead minnow in the in the middle. Some big head shake, buddy. Oh, he's small though, but. Oh, not bad. It's not bad, like Buddy, any given on day. any on any other lake, these are beauty eating fish. Oh, yeah. Like Look at that. that's that's my size. I would keep. But you think Nothing they, bigger. These are the ones that would make you keep, and those ones yeah, roll back. I don't, I don't understand that. Like that looks like a breeder. You know what I mean? I don't know, like, but like that's for me. That right there, a nice 12, 14 inch fish. You got one? Hey, yeah. Ansel's hooked up. We're gonna go take a look at Ansel, guys. We're gonna release this fish, put him back. Let's go take a look at Hansel now. It is mayhem right now. It's popping. <laughs> oh my, that's a giant dude. Yeah, that's a baby. monster. Woo! That's what I'm talking yeah. about. There it is. Oh my goodness. There it is. That's it right there, buddy. You knew it was coming, buddy. And he catches an absolute beautiful fish. Look at that episode. Oh my gosh, that's what we came here for, buddy. Oh my god, man, I knew this was gonna happen. Yes. <laughs> well, can someone take a picture for me? like oh buddy this is a big fish dad here we go there it is yeah big 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 you know, see it. Oh, I gotta stand up I don't wanna oh my buddy these head shakes are killing me right now <laughs> <laughs> where is he I'm curious where he is oh my he's still on the bottom dude come on He's still on the bottom, dude. Oh, buddy. I'm gonna start putting the bricks to this guy, man. Oh my god, Dad! What is it? It's a giant! Come here, look! Oh my gosh! This is a record bourbon! Okay, take your time, take it, can't, your time. it can't fit through the hole! It won't fit through the hole! Come on! It's not gonna fit through the hole! Are you kidding? I'm kidding, I'm not kidding. Get, get the auger. Go get the auger. I'm telling you right now. You it's not the just put the Headed. Buddy, look at the size of that. <laughs> I'm gonna puke. Oh my god! What in the world is that? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Guys, that is.
is a freaking monster bourbon. Lake Nipissing. Look at this mouth. Oh my gosh, the head is literally eight inches wide. Oh you, you've, barely, you've barely gone through the hole. Oh my god. Look at this. That is sickening. Nipissing, that was a giant burbot. Let's get back down there, see if we can catch another. <laughs> Here, click well, that's a wrap. Lake Nipissing has come to an end. How'd you like it though? Yeah, that was great. That was awesome. Lake, Lake Nipissing has a lot of fish. I caught one of the biggest burbots in my life. Absolutely incredible. Cannot complain about this trip, even though it ended on a uh, Kind of a sour note, <laughs> leaving fish that were biting to uh, save the sled. But at the end of the day, we don't want to be stuck in the dark out there, and uh, it's always good to play safety on safety first. So we're headed home, get the sled fixed up, and uh, hopefully Simco will be frozen soon. Hey, I hope so. We need some cold, cold nights, cold days too. Yep, we got none of that. So back to the drawing board, retie stuff, get the sleds all running back up and uh, we'll be back out here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little series of uh, Lake Nipissing. Got lots of walleye, got lots of, well, one big burbot, but tons of walleye. This place is a walleye factory. And uh, yeah, I'll be back. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed it.